for this project I'm going to be using a size 6 millimeter crochet hook, a size J. And the yarn I'm using is, this is recycled silk yarn. Um, I got this on uh, Amazon, but actually you can get it off eBay too. It's handmade, it's really, it's really strong, it's really interesting too. But if you don't want to use this, um, any kind of four ply yarn will work fine. This is just really interesting looking. It's made from recycled silk ribbons and fibers. So but that's what I'm going to be using. And then you want to start out with a slip knot on your hook. And we're going to be working on the bottom of the bag first. I'm going to start out with a chain of four. And then I'm going to slip stitch into the first stitch to form a ring. Okay. Now I'm going to chain one. And I'm going to go through and do... 12 double crochets through the center of the ring. There's one, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight, nine, six, ten, eleven, and twelve. Now you want to slip stitch in the first double crochet and it'll close that'll close this round off like that and you can pull your tail and make your center circle a little smaller now I'm going to chain three and I'm going to go back into the same stitch and do an, another double crochet the same stitch that I just slip stitched into so counting that chain three counts as a double crochet and then another one. So that's two double crochets in one stitch. Now I'm going to work around putting two double crochets in each stitch for a total of 24 stitches at the end of this row. So just work around putting two double crochets in each stitch and I'll meet you back around. Okay, I made it back around after that round and I have 24 stitches. So I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain three. It's probably hard to see it with this yarn, but it's a pretty easy, easy bag. So. Now you want to chain three again, and that counts as our first double crochet. So we're going to skip over to the next stitch and put two double crochets in it. And then the next stitch, we're just going to put one double crochet. And then the next stitch, we'll put two double crochets. And then the next stitch, we'll just have one double crochet. So that's the pattern. One double crochet, and then two double crochets. One double crochet, and then two double crochets. And you just want to repeat that pattern all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around. 
at the end of that row and I want to slip stitch into the top of my chain three again and chain three again and that counts as our first double crochet now we're going to go over to the next stitch and do one double crochet so that's two double crochets in a row and then the next stitch is going to get two double crochets in the same stitch and now we're going to put one double crochet in each of the next two stitches so one in the next stitch and then one in the stitch after that and then two double crochets in the next stitch and that's going to be the pattern for this round it's going to be two double crochets in a row, I guess you can't really see it, and then an increase two double crochets in the same stitch two double crochets in a row and then two double crochets in the same stitch and you want to do that all the way around okay I made it back around again and again I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain three chain three again and now I'm going to do this counts as a double crochet so I'm going to do a double crochet into the next stitch and then one in the next stitch so that's three double crochets in a row so my next stitch is going to be an increased stitch two double crochets in the same stitch and now I'm going to put one double crochet in each of the next three stitches so there's one two three so that's three double crochets in a row and then my next stitch is going to be an increased stitch I'm going to put two double crochets in the same stitch so that's the pattern this time around one double crochet in each of the next three stitches one two, three, so three in a row, and then two double crochets in the next. So just go ahead and repeat that around, and I'll meet back up with you when we get back over here. Okay, I made it back around again, and again I'm going to slip stitch into the top of my chain three, and chain three. Now this time around I'm going to put four double crochets in between the increased stitches. So that's going to count as my first one. So I'm going to put a double crochet in the next, and then the next, and then the next. So that's four in a row. One, two, three, four. And then my next stitch will get two double crochets in the same stitch. And then I'm going to put Four, one double crochet in each of the next four stitches so four in a row again one two three four and then my next stitch will be two double crochets in the same stitch like that so that's the pattern around this time. Four double crochets in a row and then an increased stitch of two double crochets. And you just repeat that all the way back around to the beginning. Okay, I made it back around again and I slip stitched into the top of my chain three. I'm going to chain three again. Now this time around is going to be five double crochets in between the increases. So that chain three counts as my first one. So I'm going to put a double crochet in the next stitch. And then the next stitch. So 
So that's four in a row. And here's five. So there's one, two, three, five in a row. And then my next one is going to have two in the same stitch. This yarn's kind of hard to work with, but it's really pretty. It really makes a really unique look. I hope if you guys want to get it, you'll be able to find it and work with it okay. And now I'm going to put five in a row again. And then my increase stitch. That's two, three, four, and five. And then increase two in the same stitch. So I'm going to repeat that pattern back around and I think I'll be done with my bottom and we'll start building up the sides. Okay I made it back around after that round and I slipped this into the top of my chain three. Now I'm going to work on the body of the bag. So I'm going to do a chain of five and I'm going to skip two stitches and I'm going to single crochet in the third stitch. Like that. I'm going to chain five, skip two stitches, skip, skip, single crochet in the third, chain five, skip two, skip, skip, single crochet in the third, chain five, skip two stitches and single crochet in the third. And this is the pattern that I'm going to repeat all the way around until I get back to the beginning. Okay, I'm coming around after doing my first row of the loops. So now what I want to do is, I'm just going to find like about the second chain up and slip stitch into it, like that. And now I'm going to do a chain, five. And I'm going to come over to this next loop and single crochet. Like that. And now I'm going to chain five again. Jump over to the next loop and single crochet. Chain five. Come over to the next loop and single crochet. Chain five, the next loop, single crochet, and I'm going to repeat this all the way around. Five, single crochet in the next loop, just like that until you get back to the beginning. Okay, I made it around again, and I'm back at the beginning. I just chained five. Now I just want to keep going around. If you want to use a stitch marker right here, you can. That way you know this is the beginning stitch. But it's single crochet in it. Chain five. Jump over to the next loop. Single crochet. Chain five. And just keep going around like this, single crocheting, and chain of five. Should work up no time. And you're going to do this for as many rows as you want your bag um, to be tall. So it's really up to you. So I'm going to keep working. And I'll let you know how many rows of this um, netting or these loops that I do. All 
Okay, I did about 15 rows of the uh, lattice stitches, or the mesh lattice stitch. But you can definitely do more or less, however big you want. And then when you end it and you get back to your stitch marker, just slip stitch into the next diamond space. It's real easy. It doesn't have to really be perfect because they're so meshy you can't really tell. Um, now for the handles, you can do any kind of handle you want. But if you want to do it like me, I did. I'm going to set this to the side here. Three chains of 90 stitches for each handle. 90 chains. All it is is a chain of 90. Three of them. Like this. And now what I'm going to do is take them and I'm going to braid them. So I'm going to get them together and I'm going to put a knot at the end. And if you're not using this type of yarn, if you're just using a regular yarn, you might want to double up the chains. Like use two pieces of yarn at the same time when you make your chains. That way it'll be extra thick. I mean that's probably what I would do. So it doesn't so it holds your bag really good. And now I'm just going to do a simple braid all the way down. Just braid my three chains together. So I'm going to go ahead and do that. Braid. I'm gonna, when I get to the end, I'm going to tie a knot in this end too. Really tight. Now I need to do two of them. And just lay it out. I kind of just line it up. Lay it out here. And I got one handle on already. You can see. And I have the knot here at the end. So I'm going to start on this end. And I'm going to start with one end. I'm going to put it right out this end. The knot part. And I'm going to go down a couple, a couple rows. Or down like one row maybe and stick it out there now I'm just gonna weave it over and under these mesh stitches until I get to about the center of the bag I know it's hard to see but just get about to the center and I put it like about like that and here's my other handle it's coming out the same hole as this one's going to come out you can see it they're both coming out the same hole and I'm just going to take this one and I'm going to go around to the other side flip my bag over and then the same hole that this one's going through I'm going to go through it with this side, with this piece, and now I'm going to weave it over and under. And you definitely don't have to do the handle like this. It's easy, it's just weaving a, a braid through pretty much. You could do one long handle too if you wanted, just whatever. I'm going to make it, weave this and make it come out the same hole that I started in which was right here and now what I'm going to do is take these two knots and I'm going to make it one big knot there we go pull it down on top of the little knots real tight and now I'm going to clip a few of these long tails I like to, I'm going to leave a few hanging and if you want yours to be a little cleaner, you could sew in them tails. But I like it to be a little shaggy looking. And then, take it. And then you'll have your bag. Pull up your handles and it'll be all ready to go. That's, all, that's it. That's all there is to it. I hope you enjoyed my tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel and check me out on Facebook. And until next time, have a good day.